Okay, okay. All right, it's on. Here we go. Wait, how is he running? How is he running that fast? How? It's 11.15 a.m. and an Arkansas State Trooper is pulling over this 2012 Dodge Charger on a traffic stop. And he takes off. He collides with the trooper and takes off again. The trooper is doing his best to catch up with the driver, who's going over 130 miles an hour. There he is up ahead. He runs the red light and is weaving in and out of traffic. He runs another red light and makes a turn. And then collides with the trooper again. He jumps onto the interstate and then collides with the flatbed. Just got on I 30, he just went underneath the semi. I 30, east away. We're continuing to approach the airstrips. He puts on his hazards and it looks like he's slowing down. The trooper pits him and he leaps from the moving car. But pits him and he leaps from the... He's now sprinting along the service road. Subject black male, white shorts, white shirt, service road, Gary Springs, uh, he's just hopping the fence. Back up quickly arrives. Right there on that corner, where that uh, white iron fence is, he went in straight to Derrick and Woods. Fortunately, the trooper saw exactly where he was headed. While they search for him, the trooper looks through the vehicle and finds a loaded Glock 29, which turns out to be stolen. And then, just a few minutes later, the trooper gets word the suspect's been apprehended. So, yeah, he said his last name's Lucky, so that's him. After barging his way into a stranger's home. I mean, he took all his clothes off. He's trying to hide in an apartment and bust his way in, so he's going to have some burglary charges. So What's going on over in Arkansas? It seems like there's a police chase every other day over there. I always see my buddy RT Life posting videos of police chases, and it seems like it's Arkansas a lot of the time. So any of you from Arkansas that can hit the comment section, let me know what's, what's going on over there that's causing so many police chases. Well, there you have it. You saw a man flee from the police. I think they said that uh, you saw he, he got out, first of all. It's insane. So he was in the, he obviously he was driving, right? And then when he got hit, if you pay attention, when he got hit, he jumped out of the, the, the passenger side. 
So he's getting hit from the driver's side. So I'm, I'm assuming when the car slowed down right there after he got hit by the freaking semi, <laughs> after he got hit by the semi, I'm assuming um, he probably just hopped over to the passenger side and just jumped out because the car was slowing down. So I thought the car was slowing down because it was, it was fried by the um, by the semi. And he got hit like five times. He got hit by the police officer like two or three times. And then he... Um, then he got hit by that freaking semi, and, and, he, and the car was still running. Like all four wheels were on it, and everything still. But you saw he jumped out of the passenger side, and leaps like a freaking cheetah, like a. I just I swear that's what I heard in my head, like a. I saw him leap out of the car, and then he somehow hops over the freaking freeway, uh, a, a fence right there, and he just takes off running really fast. Like this dude looked like he was running like like twenty five miles per hour, and just takes off. Um, and then I guess he tried hiding in somebody's house and they ended up catching him i thought he got away from the initial video um but uh yeah that's crazy and it's, it's just crazy how people keep running from the cops but i don't know he had a gun in his car i don't know uh, the laws over there in arkansas the gun laws or whatnot but uh i'm assuming the, the firearm was probably stolen or, or something like that so he you know he probably had a reason to run from the police i hope I hope he had a reason. I hope he he wasn't just running because he thought he can get away. Um, you know, no disrespect to the RTs, but um, you know they're not the fastest cars in the world, right? And if you're not that good at driving like this guy was, and clearly, don't even run from the police. You know what I mean? You got to be like a professional driver, and you got to drive a you know a faster car, in my opinion, because a lot of these police uh, agencies, they or these police departments, they have five sevens. You know what I mean? They're so they'll be able to keep up with you for sure. But, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video um, in the comment section. I had a buddy of mine, I believe his name is Mario. He had sent me one before with the 6th gen. I'll, I'll make sure to add it at the end of the video. But but yeah, it's just insane. It's insane, man. I just can't believe this guy got jumped out uninjured and just takes off running. Unless, you know, it could have been adrenaline as well. Sometimes when you're, your body's running high on adrenaline, you could have a broken leg and it's just still running until you realize, holy crap, my leg is broken and then... There you have it. If you enjoyed this content, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm SRT Dad, and I'm out. Just got on I 30, he just went underneath the semi. I 30, he's doing it. Eastbound, we're continuing to approach Garrison Springs. 30, he's down Garrison Springs. The subject failed. Subject run at 30 East, Yarr Springs.